Welcome! On this video, we will review the best practice when scaling a broadcast. Smart reporting allows to send reports to an entire organization, selected groups, and to external users. To schedule a broadcast, open the desired report and select the broadcast icon in the top middle menu. It will give six options to send it, HTML, PDF, Excel, CSV, Word, or URL to open the Smart Reporting Console. Follow next recommendations when creating a broadcast. Amount of broadcast. Coordinate the people that have access to schedule a broadcast. All users with the content writer role will have the option to set up a broadcast. It is important to keep a limit to the amount of broadcasts that are scheduled. The amount of broadcasts that are supported will depend on how big the reports are and the amount of computing resources allocated in the smart reporting and AR system servers. Broadcast frequency. It is possible to have a report being sent every five minutes. However, that will have the report refreshing every five minutes. This will generate a constant load to the servers that could affect the performance of the console. It is recommended to run a broadcast one or two times a day, not more. Broadcast concurrency. When selecting the time when the broadcast will run, it's important to keep in mind other broadcasts that might be running at the same time. If there is already a broadcast running at that time, then space it out by 15 minutes. That way, it will give it time to allocate enough resources to each task. Scheduling time frame. It is recommended to schedule broadcasts out of office times, for example, having the broadcast run early in the morning before the standard users start accessing the console. Thank you for watching.